I'm just gonna have my set up as this today. So gonna do a little get ready, get ready together and sort of have a chat. I feel like I've got loads of stuff in my mind and I just wanna talk about it. I'm gonna use some of the Skin Proud Bright Boost Serum and then some of the Glossy Box 3-in-1 Moisturizer and then I'm gonna go in with the Sleek Hydrating Primer. How's everyone coping with lockdown three? I don't want to talk about it too, too much because this lockdown has like really negatively impacted me. I don't feel good about this one. Like I just feel like I've had so much more time to sit and think. Like I've been less motivated, less busy. I've had stuff to do, but I like physically can't do it. And I just feel like I'm not being myself and procrastinating everything and just like lying around and just wanting to sleep all day and sleep all night and just like stay sleeping and being in bed which is obviously like very negative and detrimental to my mental health and it's like really like throwing me back to when I was like really mentally unwell at uni and that's literally all I would do I would just sit in bed and not want to wake up not want to get out of bed not want to leave the house and it's like making me feel like I'm in that mental state so it's like giving me like these weird flashbacks which is obviously not great so yeah, can safely say that this lockdown is not good for me. Hopefully you guys are okay. Or this might be re reassuring to hear if you are also feeling a little bit like overwhelmed by it all and feeling a little bit scared and like vulnerable and helpless. Because that's literally how I feel right now. So whether this is reassuring or hopefully helps you if you are feeling better than me, um, definitely have a chat in the comments. We can discuss everything. I feel like I also want to touch on loads of stuff that I've seen in like news articles and stuff lately so i keep seeing like articles recently that are like really triggering for me i think because i'm like like i said i'm not feeling great i am seeing like articles about like people in the industry i'm currently working in and whilst i don't think i i would never class myself as an influencer i guess i'm in that category with posting stuff online like I prefer the whole creator term like I just feel like what I do is create and I don't intend to influence if that makes sense obviously with some stuff I do intend to influence but I wouldn't still wouldn't call myself an influencer like I hope that my like self-love body acceptance content it inspires people to feel that way about themselves but I wouldn't like necessarily say that essentially doing that if you know what I mean but yeah anyway that is a, besides the point I just keep seeing lots of negative articles about people online and I know that most of it is aimed at reality tv stars people that went on like reality shows and more celeb style people who get paid obviously a lot of money to promote products that they haven't tried and stuff online they give the whole industry like a really bad name and obviously it is like really disheartening seeing all these um articles writing about people who create stuff online as just like all of these horrible negative terms and it just makes me really like hate myself <laughs> like basically it just makes me really hate myself and like think that i'm doing like a bad job at what i'm doing and I was reading this like horrible article that I keep seeing everyone post on their stories talking about like how people online are making them feel shit because they're either being productive, toxic to be productive in the pandemic, but then I'm also seeing the other side of it, people online are too lazy because they're not doing anything to share and spread support. Either end of the spectrum, like people who post about themselves online can't win with what people are saying and by any means I'm not saying like this is the worst thing in the world I'm just talking about like how I'm feeling at the minute I'm just feeling like really like everything is very negative at the minute creating stuff online was like my safe space I just feel like at this point I feel like I can't win with anything that I do there's just such a horrible image at the minute around people who are posting stuff online and it's like making me anxious to post making me anxious to do what I usually do 
completely aware that everyone's entitled to their opinion like my top advice is like unfollow people that make you feel like rubbish even if that includes me do you know what i mean like if i'm making you feel like rubbish unfollow me rather than wasting your energy and time what a lot of people are doing on the negative side is horrific and wrong but there are so many more people doing the right things on social media and yeah just make sure you're following the right people and not wasting time following people you don't like because it's just making yourself in a negative headspace you know um so yeah basically i'm feeling anxious like if i post me having a productive day i feel anxious that people are going to call me toxically positive <laughs> and if i post a photo of me in bed people will think i'm lazy and not doing anything for a job like i don't know i just feel like i can't win and it's just making me really like on edge to post which is not like me at all because i'm the first to be like fuck it like i'm gonna post what i want to post um if people have a problem they'll just unfollow or chat shit and i'll just block them <laughs> but yeah so that has been making me anxious over the last few days i've spoken to a few of my friends about it and things like that i also need some coffee so i'm gonna just have some of that but yeah have you guys seen some of the these articles by all means the dubai stuff is awful i don't know how it has been allowed to be honest i just urge you to unfollow anyone that bringing you anger like i always do i unfollow so many people that make me feel like shit about myself post stuff that triggers me without any warning um and things like that so yeah i just feel like i need to make sure i'm curating that perfect space again because even if like people i know or friends or family or whatever are posting stuff that triggers me like if it feels uncomfortable to unfollow you can always just mute which currently don't have anyone on mute actually no ellie's not uploading it me and ellie filmed to say it or shot it last week oh my god it got so out of hand like we just started just talking about the weirdest stuff it was very explicit and ellie can't upload it because we were that drunk and exposing ourselves it was just way too much like it was just embarrassing level um just talking really openly about everything as we usually do but like on a much more intense level we called people up in the video like we just said way too much so ellie doesn't think she can salvage that video i think she's completely deleted the footage which i don't blame her for i don't know why i've just done this because i saw a hack on tiktok where you're not supposed to like do the triangle thing you're supposed to just put concealer like in your inner corners and on the outside because it lifts your face up rather than like highlighting this point of your face which you don't want to do so i don't know why i've just done that because i have been getting into the habit of doing it the other way so yeah those are the two like really negative things that are going on in my head i don't even want to talk about the move because if you watch my weekly vlogs like you'll just know that that's just like another stress in my life at the minute i guess it's just patience but it's hard to have patience when you're on a strict time schedule i also have this like major fear that everyone hates me <laughs> at the minute i feel like i am in school got thrown myself and my mental headspace back to when i was like year nine and i just wanted everyone to like me and i feel like that is literally the worst worst way to live like trying to please everyone because it's it's literally impossible like everyone's gonna have different opinions Every, everyone's gonna be offended by different things and like different things about you but I, it's literally impossible to be flawless and i feel like that is again sort of linking to that whole influencers having no flaws and at the minute it's like we have to all be perfect at all times and i feel like that is impossible like growing up and stuff and obviously it's my choice posting stuff online like and it's my choice if i end up posting stuff that annoys people or whatever i feel like you can't not be yourself at the end of the day and being everyone being themselves there's going to be flaws in everyone there's going to be flaws in yourself your family members your friends like the closest people in your life are gonna have flaws and you go look past that so it like baffles me that people think that people who post off online have to be like flawless oh god the sun's gone in and that's definitely not the case for me or for anyone online i don't think but yeah just feeling a bit self-conscious i feel like not a lot of people do talk about this online and I want, well unless no one else feels the same way as me but i feel like as platforms grow and stuff i feel like it's it makes you more anxious to post i think it might just be me I, I now i'm talking about it i feel like what i'm saying probably sounds ridiculous but my feelings are valid you know like it's how i'm feeling at the minute um i don't know how much i'm gonna keep in because i feel like i'm not make, gonna make much sense in this because i'm just sort of like spewing out stuff that's been like building up in my head by the way i've been using surprise il maquillage waka waka bronzer um i'm getting some new bits sent from them so i'm very excited about that because i ran out of the 
concealer and foundation so quickly because i loved it so much it's such a good full coverage foundation and the concealer is really great as well at highlighting i also keep having like really horrible dreams at the minute like about everyone dying which is just not ideal what is everyone else dreaming about at the minute is it like a recurring dream different every night Have, do, are you not dreaming at the minute i literally just keep dreaming about death again um not sure what that means anyone out there who is a dream expert please let me know yeah i feel like it's not a good thing if everyone keeps dying in my dreams it feels so real as well like it's so related to my real life and things going on with family like i'm still struggling with a lot of family stuff at the minute as well I feel like everything's getting on top of me again and it's just, i'm just not here for it and usually i can pick myself up which is what i did in the first lockdown in the second lockdown but this time i'm i'm knocked over i think like i'm fully knocked over and i have no energy left in me to get up to get motivated to do stuff like, i feel like this is a lot for me today just putting some makeup on but it does in the long run make me feel a lot better i don't know about you guys for me like i've seriously realized in these lockdowns that me and makeup it's just for me like putting makeup on is literally just for me and making myself feel better and that is a nice feeling that is something to be grateful for today that i have found that i put makeup on for myself and no one else honestly in my days when i put makeup on and i'm just sat in my room like no one's seeing me i feel so much better like i feel like i'm ready to kickstart the day hopefully this helps me to stay motivated and do something today but I just feel like a little slug at the minute that has been squished and trodden on by loads of people and I've just got a tiny bit of life left in me. That's like literally how I could have to describe myself at the minute. I don't want any sympathy, of course. Like I feel like everyone's feeling like this, if not worse. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not asking for sympathy at all. <laughs> I'm just being honest and letting you know my feelings and my thoughts for today. Yeah, I've had a few questions on TikTok about my eyeliner and I really don't think... I can do eyeliner so I don't know why people are asking me but I just use the Superdrug's own um brand B and their double like duo liner and I use the like really thin nib and just sort of upward motion as if I'm carrying on my lower lash line upwards a little bit to where I want the flick because the nib is so thin it literally is just so easy to get that like really precise little flick and I just have been really enjoying doing it on the end of my eyelashes like who thought I would be doing winged eyeliner in lockdown. I'm in one of those phases at the minute where I can't do my makeup if I don't do my eyeliner as well. I didn't journal this morning, so maybe I can do my journal verbally to you guys and it might make you sit and think whilst we're doing the get ready. I don't know, is that weird? Maybe, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So the first things I start with, if you've watched my weekly vlog, I do three things I'm grateful for. So I'm gonna say I'm grateful that I bought this coffee for myself the other day because now I have it this morning without having to leave the house something very small really grateful for what everyone who supports me in life whether that's my family and friends who check up on me on a regular basis to make sure i'm okay and also to all of you guys who support the work that i do and the stuff that i put out online and i'm are always really happy and kind and lovely and send me lovely messages being surrounded by supportive people and supportive amazing people online is my second thing that i'm grateful for and i'm also grateful for the weather forecast because apparently it's snowing at the weekend and i know a lot of people don't like snow but i didn't realize how much i liked it until the other week because it gave me something to do it gave me a change of scenery and yeah i just really enjoyed the snow oh hello you want to say i'm also grateful for you then i do something that i love about myself so i think today i'm gonna say that I am, um, something I love about myself is how open I am. Yeah, how I feel like I'm open and I think oversharing sometimes can be a good thing when you can like raise awareness, raise conversations that other people might be scared to. And yeah, I feel like I'm quite proud of myself that I feel comfortable to do that. So something that's stressing me out, I think, at the minute triggering stuff online and my family's health are like two massive stresses on my mind today. I'm gonna call my family make sure everyone's okay i've got a, a family member still in hospital and then i've got my grandparents and just other people make sure they're okay and then to s solve the other stress what was it yeah i need to clear my social media and meet people that are sharing triggering things so my goal of the day is going to be to do things that make me happy um i've also got to record a podcast episode later so that's going to be on my goals 
and get some editing done that I need to do, I think. I've got a little bit of highlight. I actually don't like putting too much on nowadays. She says and then plasters it all over her cheekbones. Right, so I think that's my makeup done. Um, I'm gonna finish the video off with a Pinterest quote. That's how I always finish my journaling, so. My Pinterest quote of the day is going to be actually a Shakespeare quote. Um, and it's let her sleep for when she wakes she will move mountains and I feel like this just speaks to me at the minute because I feel like I just need to I, I love Shakespeare quotes because I feel like you could go down so many avenues when analyzing them and um, but for this this one really I feel resonates with me today and for the last few days because I probably needed this re relaxation period and I needed to chill out a little bit because I'm um, I'm getting burnt out mentally so yeah, maybe I do need to let her sleep so that she can wake up and move mountains, you know, do bits and succeed and motivate myself. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna sit with me today. I'm gonna write all this down actually after I recorded this because I feel like I like seeing it down on paper. But yeah, this is your um this is your daily reminder to do to journal, whether that's in the evening or the morning. I find morning works really good for me, evening works really good for some other people that I know. So do whatever's best for you it really helps like i know it sounds so stupid writing this stuff down on paper but it really it's really got me into a nice routine and stuff so hopefully it helps some of you guys out there hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe down below if you're new and i hope you're all doing great see you in my next vid bye guys